Thursday night storm creating some major damage downtown. The heavy rain caused a roof to collapse at a Travis Park Church building, and that collapse has led to more damage for the church. The night team Stephen Cavasso shows us a look inside and how church leaders are working quickly to get the doors open again for those in need. Travis Park Church, first established in the mid 1800s, has been a safe haven for asylum seekers, the homeless and LGBTQ. But after Thursday night's storm, they're fighting to continue that mission. The important thing right now is to be sure that we can keep our ministries going. Heavy rain caused the roof on top of the youth building to cave in on the third floor. The space had long been used to house programs and games. We had been doing some work on the roof, but uh, now the roof is gone. The collapse caused a sprinkler line to burst, which led to leaks in ceilings and flooded corridors. The damage spreading to other parts of the church. When that happened and the water came through, what damage did it cause to the buildings that are adjacent? Water rushing down these stairs, creating damage in almost every corner and crews working countless hours to get the church doors open again. A trail of destruction left behind and senior pastor Eric Vogt is still unsure of how long it will take to bring back a sense of normal for the congregation. We don't know all the details yet, but have a number of helpful folks on scene and, and we're going to be uh, you know, working that out over the next few days. But remains thankful for the community that has stepped in to help pick up the pieces. We think God helps through lots of different means, and so um, we can use any help that, that folks can give. And he says through it all, they're still holding on to hope. We're going to carry on uh, doing what we do. Now we're told that the migrant ministry has already moved to another location and as for the Corazon ministry, which helps feed the homeless, they still plan to operate, but at a different capacity. However, they still plan to distribute food and as for Sunday services, they will be taken here at Travis Park, which is next to Travis Park Church Sunday at 945 in the morning. Isis.